the journey of india's information technology sector to global success has been a long yet fruitful one the ict industry has grown rapidly to become the flag bearer of india's growth story in the eyes of the world this is the incredible journey of an extraordinary organization set up by a small group of committed computer experts 36 years ago which now boasts of a strength of 3500 plus it professionals in house and 10000 outsourced it personnel the endless journey of nic begins in 1975 With the financial assistance of the United Nations Development Program, the government laid the foundation of National Informatics Center (NIC). In the initial phase, MIS and computerization of government offices was taken up. One of the earliest ICT initiatives was computerization of Asian Games 1982. National Informatics Center is an e-governance organization of Government of India. It is an attached office of Department of Electronics and Information Technology. We have a large number of offices across the country, 600 odd in the districts, 35 states and 70 odd data centers in this central government. NIC provides NetNet as a network infrastructure, data center and a host of applications mounted on it. These applications are e-office which provides the entire office automation, e-procurement which gives the nationwide procurement uh, portal, transports which is Vahan and Sarathi, e-courts and many other projects of this kind are implemented by NIC over a long period of time. NIC has approximately 70,000 man years of domain and technology experience in the country. We not only work in India but we also are working today in trying to get the democratization of information across the globe in 1985 nic extended its operations to states and district computer centers which were connected over nicnet to introduce ict applications for district administration nicnet with its nationwide reach enabled transmission of election results over nicnet decision support systems and speedy data transmission from district to states and projects such as computerization of land records treasury transport were undertaken where back end functions were computerized starting from a relatively small beginning today nic's ict infrastructure skills and services are unmatched nic works in two major areas one to set up technology and infrastructure related aspects to implement uh, e-governance programs and secondly to help the government in building solutions and technologies for e-governance applications across the country on the technology and infrastructure side nic has built four large national data centers nic has also facilitated integration of state data centers and also to set up facilities for creating disaster recovery services for the state data centers so nic is moving towards creating cloud based services so that users can simply demand resources as and when they need without uh, requiring to wait for resources to be procured and deployed nicnet a state of the art high bandwidth network provides connectivity to central government ministries departments and all 35 states and 632 districts of india national data center has been set up in 30000 square foot of space complete infrastructure is redundant and it has got the state of technology in terms of the components utilized today we have 500 racks which are there in this data center this is this picture shows us the entire monitoring of the compute infrastructure which is hosted in this data center national data centers at delhi hyderabad and pune provide shared hosting and co-location facilities to the government across the nation 
NIC provides messaging services with a powerful SMS gateway, sophisticated cyber security infrastructure, comprehensive worldwide web services, exclusive registration for GOV.in country level domain, and multi point video conferencing services over NICnet from 632 existing studios spread across India. NIC has an integrated network operations center or INOC. This is the place from where we monitor all the traffic and the health of the various systems, the various networks to which NIC is connected. We at NIC operate at basically three levels, the center, state and the districts. So from uh, sitting here we can monitor up till the uh, state level. We have got a fourth tier which is the data centers which are operating mostly at the headquarters. NIC has full-fledged training facilities, national GIS services and utility mapping services. States also have internet data centers. NIC has uh, set up along with Department of Electronics and Information Technology a platform where we could connect all the e-governance applications and be able to see on a particular day and time how many electronic transactions are taking place in the country in different domains of applications. NIC is uh, also aligning its priorities to helping the government and building solutions for social sector schemes. NIC is working with the government on, for example, direct benefit transfer schemes where the back-end technology effort, NIC is uh, uh, helping the government in collaboration with various other stakeholders in the country. Uh, NIC is also working on applications like fertilizer, applications like rural development, applications like core banking, uh, applications like pseudo-core banking for cooperative sector. The large number of areas where NIC is trying to help the government. The overall objective is that whenever government needs to launch a major governance initiative, NIC would be there to help the government in meeting the entire technology requirement for launching that application. NIC has vast expertise and experience in e-governance in areas like agriculture and food, animal husbandry, fisheries, forestry and environment, water resources, food and public distribution, rural development, social welfare services, land records and property registration, culture and tourism, industry, health, education, budget and treasury, fiscal resources, transport, court management, import and export facilitation, micro level planning, information and broadcasting, digital archival, etc. National Knowledge Network has been set up to connect institutions, organizations carrying out research and development, higher education and governance with speed of the order of multi gigabits per second. Education, health and agriculture are the three themes which relate NKN to society. So we decided that NKN will be done in such a way that about 10,000 classrooms can be captured and beamed across the country at the same time. NKN's first experiment was to link these classrooms so the teacher can teach from his own host institution and it can go to the target institution. The only technical organization of the country which is present all over the country up to the district level is NIC. So NKN wants to go everywhere, NIC is already there everywhere. So it's a natural choice to put the NKN equipment in NIC and have the NIC experts do the NKN delivery and NKN establishment and operation and that's what is happening. So they are identified as a program implementation partner. They're doing an excellent job. The network enables co-sharing of information, enormous data and collaboration through classroom lectures, presentations and handouts among different institutions. NKN initiative of providing virtual education uh, to the engineering institutes in India 
and uh, IITs and NITs at present is a really uh, innovative idea on the part of uh, the education system in India. Uh, this kind of in initiative has helped the students to perform experiments virtually without going to a good institute or place and spending a lot of money for that. Admission in professional and academic courses was a nightmare for both students and parents in this country. A few years back, multiple counseling for different institutions and boards were being held at different places and for getting the admission, the student had to appear physically in each one of them, traveling to these places. Each counseling board had different procedures and overlapping dates. It was not feasible for a student to take part and it caused a lot of mental agony and stress and financial burden to the student and parent equally. To overcome these issues, National Informatics Center, in collaboration with Ministry of Human Resource Development, developed a web-based e-counseling system for admission to professional and academic courses in national and state-level institutions. E-counseling is a web-based tool which facilitates end-to-end -to -end support towards streamlining the admission process in all phases of the admission like examination, counseling and post-counseling processes. Last year, you know that it covered engineering, medical, hotel management and various other academic courses. 21 central and state counseling boards took participation in this particular counseling process. There are about 88 lakh eligible candidates across the country who took part into the engineering and medical counseling. There are about 13 lakh seats were offered by about 6,000 institutions across the country. I am an engineering student. E-counseling is very convenient and time-saving. I need not to go anywhere for the admission. All process from seat allocation to final admission process, I can get it done through this application from my home itself. E-counseling process is very easy and easy. I am a medical student. और मुझे जितनी भी जानकारियां चाहिए थी कॉलेज के बारे में और उनके फीस स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में वो मुझे बैठे-बैठे साइबर कैफे में मिल जाता है जबकि मुझे किसी कॉलेज में जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ी और मुझे सारा सारी जानकारी मेरे अपने कंप्यूटर पे बैठे-बैठे मिल जा रही The current litigation system of India cumbersome in nature In addition the backlog of cases is increasing day by day Fast and fair trial has always been a long-awaited dream of the citizen of India. NIC is serving the legal community through information technology since 1990 when the court's information system project was commissioned. Since then, NIC with the constant support of the Supreme Court of India has taken great strides. Today, all 21 high courts have been computerized and interconnected through NICnet. The eCourts scheme aims at ICT enablement of the lower courts across the country in their functioning. NIC has created Ishiko software module and also the modules have been prepared for subordinate judiciary. Somebody applies for a copy, even the, the status whether the copy is available can be found out on the touch screen which are installed in throughout the court. The process has fastened and has brought more facilities and betterment in the system also. Overall, it's very beneficial for the advocates and for the litigants and also for the staff. Key functions such as case filing, allocation, case workflow, registration, orders and judgments is IT enabled. Cause lists, case status, orders, judgments are available on the web and shall be accessible to litigants, advocates and general public. The project aims to build a national grid of key judicial information available 24 by 7 in a reliable and secure manner. The Government of India has implemented the centrally sponsored scheme National Land Records Modernization Program to streamline the process of land records management. The major components of the program are 
computerization of all land records including textual and spatial records and mutations, survey, pre-survey and update of all survey and settlement records including creation of original cadastral records wherever necessary. Snaitre Tamgela Gutiraage, Yarad Saurda Inde, Samad Patage, Raitru Pahani, Mate Mutation Mate Kata Vargaone, Samad Patage, Modlo Sabrish Office Govoro, Sabrish Office in the Talak Office Gesumara, either Tinglu, Kate, Mate Pani Goskara, Aldar Donta, Prestitito, Yar Saurne Swinda, Mane Sarkar Kanataka Sarkara, E. Fildali Na, Raitri Yechina, now Solo Beno Kurbeko, Raitro, Mane Baglige. The basic service of distributing computerized records of rights is operational in some tehsils of the country using touch screen kiosks. It provides transparency with better citizen services and takes discretion away from civil servants at operating levels. The health of women and children has been an abiding development concern in India ever since independence. The innovative mother and child tracking system MCTS is developed jointly by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and National Informatics Centre. It will facilitate monitoring of universal access to maternal and child health services by all pregnant women and children. Through MCTS, what we are trying to do is that we are monitoring uh, the delivery of full range of services to each and every pregnant mother and each and every child. There is a mechanism to track whether services which become due at a certain point of time have been provided to the beneficiary or not. NIC has been a big asset, big resource for us. It is an in-house uh, technical support for us. So it's a very uh, dynamic system and uh, low-cost system and this could not have been possible without uh, the support coming from NIC. A pregnant woman registered in MCTS can use the MCTS interface to know which of the maternal care services she requires and which of the scheduled services she has received. Similarly, parents of a child can get information about the vaccinations due to their child and the details of vaccinations the child has already received. On the other hand, a health service provider can easily generate the work plan or the delivery of services. SMS is enabled to alert beneficiaries about services due to them. MCTS is currently being implemented throughout the country. The manual system working prior to Lokwani made it mandatory for the citizens to visit the district headquarter, Tehsil, for a variety of simple transactions with the government and for redress of their grievances. Due to bureaucratic and hierarchical functioning, even ordinary documents such as birth, death, domicile, caste and income certificates were difficult to obtain. अब लोग बाड़ी अच्छी चीज लोग बाड़ी से हमको सुविधा मिलते हैं लोग बाड़ी होना जरूरी है उसे हम लोगों को बड़ी आराम मिलते हैं Lokwani which was started in Sitapur is an e effort to empower citizens in rural areas and has become the voice of the people Lokwani the single window system for computerized certificate services was conceptualized and implemented in Sitapur district of UP and rolled out to other districts of the country. Lokwani is a public-private partnership program. The concept has been extended to other locations in the country. The success of Lokwani led to the extension of the system under E-District, a mission mode project under the NEGP, 
wherein comprehensive services will be available from e-district counters across India, including rural areas, to help percolate its benefits downwards to the grassroots. NIC assures the citizens of this country that the organization's untiring dedication shall continue to facilitate wider transparency and accountability, prompt decentralized planning and management, and enable spread of e-services to the doorstep of the citizen. NIC's journey shall surge forth to newer frontiers.